Hello students, I Mr. Vishal Shaha, Assistant Professor, Krishna Institute of Pharmacy, Karada. Once again, welcome you all to this practical session on the synthesis of cinnamic acid from the benzaldehyde by the Perkin reaction. Previously also we have seen the how to perform the various practicals related to the pharmaceutical organic chemistry by virtual mode. If you are coming first time to this my YouTube channel then you can check my previous videos also. If you like the content of this channel then you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also you can share with your friends. So let's begin with our today's session that is the synthesis of cinnamic acid from the benzaldehyde. Now this practical is covered into two parts where first we will discuss about the theoretical background behind the synthesis of the cinnamic acid and in second part actually I will show you how to perform this practical in a virtual mode with the help of the calculations also. So let's first see the chemical reaction of this synthesis. Now here you can see the chemical reaction involved in this synthesis involves the reaction of benzaldehyde with acetic anhydride in presence of potassium acetate to form the cinnamic acid where the acetic acid will be formed on this particular benzaldehyde carbonyl group. Actually the condensation of aromatic aldehydes, this benzaldehyde is known as the aromatic aldehyde. So condensation of aromatic aldehydes with the acid anhydrides that is the acetic acid in presence of sodium or potassium salt of acid corresponding to the anhydride to give an alpha beta unsaturated acid that is known as the Perkin reaction means any aromatic aldehyde with the anhydride in presence of the potassium or sodium salt of the corresponding acid gives us a alpha beta unsaturated acid so here you can see this is the alpha carbon atom and this is the beta carbon atom so this alpha and beta carbon atoms are unsaturated that's why cinnamic acid is known as the alpha beta unsaturated unsaturated acid so this reaction is known as the perkin reaction so in this reaction when benzaldehyde is get heated with a mixture of acetic anhydride and potassium acetate gives us a cinnamic acid also here very important that cinnamic acid is exist in the two forms that is the it exists in the isomerism phenomenon due to which cis and trans both the forms are possible due to the presence of the double bond now here in this case when we perform this reaction only we are getting the trans form with the help of the Perkin reaction why because cis form is quite unstable and it will be easily converted into the trans form it can be differentiated between the cis form and trans form with the help of the melting point cis cinnamic acid is having a melting point of about the 68 degree and trans is having the melting point of above 133 degree now you know what is the meaning of cis cis means what if both the bulkier groups are present on the same side then that is known as the cis form for example this hydrogen atom if both the hydrogen atoms if they are lying on the same side then that form is known as the cis form and the trans form where this benzene group that is the phenyl group as well as this acidic carboxylic acid functional group if they are lie on the opposite side then that is known as the trans form so here base is used as a catalyst other alkali catalysts can be utilized alkali acetates they also gives uh, sufficient results like potassium carbonate means either we can use potassium acetate or we can use potassium carbonate in this synthesis we are going to use the potassium carbonate so this is about the chemical reaction involved in the synthesis now just i will explain you what is the mechanism involved in this particular reaction basically first in first step what happens the base that we are going to use this base will abstract the proton from the acetic anhydride 
due to which what happens anion of acetic anhydride is formed now this anion means what carbon atom will be having a negative charge this carbon atom will attack on the carbonyl carbon atom of the benzaldehyde due to which there will be formation of the complex between benzaldehyde and the acetic anhydride ion will takes place after that hydrolysis reaction takes sorry removal of water molecule takes place due to which there will be formation of the alpha beta unsaturated double bond between the both the carbon atom takes place and in last step due to the addition of the sodium carbonate and hydrochloric acid hydrolysis of the acetic anhydride will be carried out and the cinnamic acid will be formed so this is the simple mechanism involved in the synthesis of this cinnamic acid from benzaldehyde which is known as the perkin reaction now we will see the what is the procedure involved in the synthesis of this cinnamic acid now i request you you can write down this procedure in your notebook so that it will be helpful for you to understand with the help of this procedure how we are going to perform this particular synthesis with the help of the virtual mold now first step place 5 ml of freshly distilled purified benzaldehyde that is the 8 point and 8.2 ml of acetic anhydride and 7 g of pure anhydrous potassium carbonate in a 250 ml of double neck round bottom flask so we have to take three chemicals one is the benzaldehyde other one is acetic anhydride and third one is the anhydrous potassium carbonate as i said we can use any alkali either potassium acetate can also be used or potassium carbonate can be used here we are going to utilize potassium carbonate now in next step we have to attach a reflux condenser with the help of the thermometer to monitor the temperature now we have to heat the flask in air bath gradually when the temperature reaches 200 degrees celsius due to the evolution of carbon dioxide much foaming will occur and once this foaming has subsided means foaming will stop we have to maintain the temperature of the our reaction mixture to about 170 to 180 degree celsius for about 90 minutes means one and half hour then once this 90 minutes are over we have to allow the reaction mixture to cool we have to remove the reflux condenser then we have to add 40 ml of water followed by 10% sodium hydroxide solution until it is alkaline then we have to extract the clear solution with the help of the two portions of 25 ml ether to remove any unreacted benzaldehyde and treat the aqueous layer with concentrated hydrochloric acid until acid to congregate with stirring filter the precipitated acid at the pump wash with 10 ml of water and recrystallize from hot water report the percentage yield and melting point so this is the <coughs> procedure that is used for the synthesis of the cinnamic acid now here i will introduce you to our this virtual lab where we are going to perform the synthesis of cinnamic acid from the benzaldehyde here you can see we have placed the various chemicals that are required say for example benzaldehyde acetic anhydride potassium carbonate here we have placed sodium hydroxide water also this is the reflux condenser this is rbf this is burner this is the pipette that is used for the taking up the different chemicals now if you read in the procedure our first step is we have to take the 5 ml of benzaldehyde so here you can see we are taking the bottle of benzaldehyde then we are removing the cap here you can see we are taking with the help of the pipette 5 ml of benzaldehyde which we are going to transfer it into the our rbf so this is the first chemical that we have taken now second also we have to take the 8.2 ml of acetic anhydride so we are taking the bottle of acetic anhydride with the help of the pipette again we are going to measure the 8.2 ml of acetic anhydride and we are again transferring it into the rbf so here this video will give you actual 
filling that we are performing this practical into the lab then next we are going to take the potassium carbonate 7 gram of potassium carbonate that we are going to wet and we are going to transfer it into the our rbf so once we have taken or we have prepared the reaction mixture we have to attach a reflux condenser and we have to carry out the heating of the our reaction mixture now once the temperature reaches the 100 degree celsius what happens as i said in procedure much foaming will occur and once this foaming has been subsided then we have to maintain the temperature at the 170 to 180 degrees celsius for about 90 minutes so after 90 minutes we have to stop the reaction mixture we have to remove the reflux condenser and we have to stop the heating now once we have stopped this particular heating we have to allow the mixture to cool then we have to add the 40 ml of water to this here you can see we are adding 40 ml of water after addition of 40 ml of water we are going to add the 10 percent sodium hydroxide solution gradually until our solution becomes alkaline once we have continued the this particular addition of sodium hydroxide next step we have to carry out the extraction of the layer with the help of the 25 ml portions of ether means we have to add ether into this particular solution and we have means this is our aqueous layer so once we add the ether what happens there we will obtain two layers one is the aqueous layer other one is the ether layer so we have to treat aqueous layer with the help of this ether two times so that unreacted benzaldehyde will be dissolved into the our ether now once we have completed this step we have to separate aqueous layer from the ether and we have to add the concentrated hcl until we will get the congo red and once we will add the concentrated hcl we will get the our crystals of the benzaldehyde pure benzal sorry uh, crystals of cinnamic acid pure cinnamic acid crystals are obtained so this is the way by which we can perform this particular practical once we got the product next step is to carry out the recrystallization procedure here you can see this is the assembly for our recrystallization procedure where we are going to use the hot water as a solvent to carry out the recrystallization now once we will add the hot water and our product and once we will start the solution when our solution becomes hot again product will be gets dissolved and when this solution is hot we are going to carry out the filtration of this particular solution and once we have carried out the filtration the after cooling we will get the crystals of the ceramic acid so this is the procedure by which one can carry out the recrystallization of ceramic acid after recrystallization next step is to carry out the determination of the melting point after the drying so with the help of the oven at 40 degrees celsius we can carry out the drying of our product then with the help of the thiol tube we can determine the melting point of our cinnamic acid once we have determined the melting point next step is calculation here this is the reaction by which we are going to calculate benzaldehyde is converted into the cinnamic acid so by using this formula x is equal to 6.22 gram by cross multiplication as per earlier discussions we can calculate and theoretical yield will be 6.2 gram practical yield will be 4 gram and percentage yield is calculated by using formula practical yield divided by theoretical yield into 100 so it becomes 64.30 and we can tabulate these results into this form theoretical yield 6.22 gram practical yield 4 gram percentage yield 64.3 gram and suppose we are getting melting point as a 130 degree celsius so this is the way by which one can carry out the synthesis of cinnamic acid from the benzaldehyde thank you so if you like the content of this particular video then you can share with your friends subscribe to my youtube channel also you can like my videos also you can watch the previous videos to get the details about the calculation part thank you thank you very much